What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use TubeBuddy. Now, TubeBuddy is basically a free browser extension that you can download so you get certain information and like, you know, helpful tools in order to grow on YouTube. And I'm gonna also, by the way, leave out the face cam during the video because we're gonna zoom in quite a bit. And there's there are kind of a lot of things you should focus on instead of just like having a face cam in the corner being a little bit distracting. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and and as always, let's get started right after the intro. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we are on TubeBuddy.com and you can just find the link in the description to actually get there. So if you click the link on the description, you will land on this page, which says stop wasting time on keyword research, channel management, optimizing videos, creating thumbnails, managing comments, adding end screens, and so forth. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're going to download this extension. We're on Chrome right now. So we're gonna click on install free on Chrome. And then it takes us to this page. And right here you can see like almost 7,000 reviews, almost 750,000 users. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna click on add to Chrome. So it will actually add this extension to our browser. Okay, so as you can see right now at the very top right here, it says TubeBuddy. So if you go to our video manager for a second on YouTube. What we're going to do is we're going to refresh our page. So we're going to press F5 on our keyboard. And actually the layout changes quite a bit. Well, it doesn't really change, but there are certain things added as you can see right here. So at the very top, first of all, you need to sign into your account. It's just totally free. You can just sign into YouTube. So I have read and agreed to money privacy policy in terms of use. And you can just go ahead and click on sign in with YouTube. Then we're going to just go ahead and log in for a second. And as you can see right now, we're going to pick our YouTube channel and you want to click on allow at the very bottom. And it's going to redirect us back onto YouTube and then we can get started. Okay guys, so as you can see at the very top, it says successfully signed in and we have actually a lot of buttons applied onto our screen. So if you, for example, click on here, you will actually be able to head over to your dashboard, to your videos, to your playlists on YouTube, to your live streaming platforms, to your comment section, subscribers and analytics. Now, what we can also do is basically go ahead and check out our milestones. So we reached 49 million views recently on October 21st and 275 thousand subscribers on October 18th, but you can also ask a certificate. So if you click on there, it's like this really fun benefit that you can actually get like and print out. It's really, really cool that they do that. Basically what TubeBuddy is for is a really handy tool. If you want to, for example, check which videos are demonetized and which one aren't. So let's say that you have a lot of videos uploaded, but you don't really know like which videos are monetized and which one are demonetized. Are you missing out on revenue because of demonetized videos that you don't know about? Let TubeBuddy find them for you. And if you click on start, it will basically show Show all the videos are demonetized and you can actually like, request a review. It's a really, really helpful tool. But if you click on bulk, for example, right here, this is very interesting. So let's say that you want to do stuff in bulk. Now we're going to start off with, for example, find and replace text on multiple videos, because if you have hundreds of videos on your YouTube channel, if you need to go ahead and go through them one by one, it's going to take you hours or even days to upload hundreds, if not thousands of videos separately. If you want to add in, for example, like an iTunes link that there wasn't before. So right here we have action right here. It says find and replace text. You can just, for example, also find text, insert after text, insert before text, remove or delete text, add text to end of description, insert text at beginning of the description or replace the entire description. So let's say that we want to go ahead and, for example, insert one link. We're going to click on insert after text. So that basically means that if you have regular text right here, it's going to insert a link right below that. So right here, you can just fill in your information because right here, as you can see, this is before and this is after when they added in a iTunes link. It is very, very handy, but that's not the only thing you can do in bulk. You can also, you know, like replace multiple thumbnails. You can also add in cards because let's say that you have like videos that are like six years old. Six years ago, YouTube didn't had cards yet. They were annotations. If you want to apply multiple cards onto multiple videos, you can just basically copy a card. You can just go ahead and look for your video. You want to copy that card. So let's say that we're going to copy this card. We can click on continue. And then what we can do is basically copy them. And you can also, for example, type in a custom message or a teaser text. And then you can also just go ahead and replace them and add them to existing videos or older 
other videos. You can also delete the cards in bulk. You can also do that the exact same thing for the end screens that you can do with cards, copy them, update them or delete them. You can also back up video metadata if you want to, or you can also change the annotation audit, but you cannot really add or adjust annotations anymore since I don't know, like maybe a couple of years because YouTube has replaced the annotations like a couple of years ago with the end screens. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the upload button. So let's say that we're going to upload a video right here. Then we're going to go ahead and land on this regular upload page. Nothing too special. We're going to click on our file. So right here, while we're uploading, this is basically what we will come across. So this is a, a lot of information, but you want to basically focus on the title, the description, the tags and the thumbnail and obviously the category as well. So right here at the very bottom, we can also have like recommended tags. So let's say that you have a tutorial about Vegas Pro, like I always upload, they have like a lot of suggestions that would actually like fit your video. So if you're not really sure what to type in, because let's say that you ran out of ideas after a couple of tags. So let's say that our video is about color grading in Vegas Pro, we're going to type in Vegas Pro 17 color grading color correction because three keywords are not really that like a lot so you can think like hmm, what can i also add in right here we also have like recommended tags and you can sort them by relevance or by score so if you hit score this basically means like what are people actively looking for on YouTube. And these are basically true. A way to find out is, as you can see right here, it says Vegas Pro 17 free. If you type in the search bar, Vegas Pro 17, as you can see right here, it pops up and it says free because anything you type in the search bar, what they actively look for. So right here, you can just add in all these tags. As you can see, I wouldn't really like recommend like crack download because that's not really what the video is about. And it might get you demonetized because it's like about pirating software. So you should just go ahead and add in, for example, like Vegas Pro 17 tutorial, color grading, Vegas Pro 17 effects, all of that. You can just add them in real, real simple. And that is basically how to do that. And what's really cool is that they also have like a checklist. So let's say that you don't want to forget something. You can just, for example, like check one. You can just check off this one. If you have a title, for example, how to color grade in Vegas. 17 you can just check it right here you can enter a complete description you, you can also do that you can just add descriptive tags like i've done and you can just go ahead and like check all these items and you can just basically complete them and mark them complete once you've done that for example like create a custom thumbnail monetize them for example like if you click on monetization you want to make sure that they're monetized in all countries go to the advanced settings this video is in the category how to and style because how this is like a how to tutorial so that's a really really fun thing that you can actually actually like have this checklist near it and also just go ahead and add in all these tags based on how good they score. And if you use this tool, your video will more likely to be ranked a lot higher in the search results than usual. Okay, so while our video is uploading, well, it's already done, but if you go ahead and want to kill some time while uploading, you can just go ahead and click on this button right here and you can just click on the keyword explorer and then it's going to prompt this box. So let's say that you want to find out how popular a certain topic is. So let's say that we're gonna type in Premiere Pro and we're going to click on explore right here. You can see what people are actually like looking for video searches, Premiere Pro effects, Premiere Pro tutorial, Premiere Pro transitions. You can also add in, you know, tags based on that. So right here, it says poor. The score above is specific to your channel based on how many views your videos tend to get and your chances of ranking in these search results. Because as you can see at the very bottom, it says search volume and it's a lot. It's, it, it's in green. It's a lot. But this basically means that in my channel category, Premiere Pro videos wouldn't do that well. Why? Because I'm just a Vegas Pro 17 tutorial channel. This is basically a way to actually find out like how high is the competition, the optimization strength, all of that. And you can basically see like how many searches does Premiere Pro have every month. That's almost a million. And it's really hard these days to actually like rank high because as you see number of videos in the search results, if you type in Premiere Pro, it's almost 15 million videos. So you got to imagine like, how can I rank as high as possible between these multiple millions of videos? And that's a great reason to start using TubeBuddy so you can use the optimized titles, tags, descriptions, everything like that. And also a really interesting fact is the best time to publish. Right here, it says the overwhelming consensus of YouTube experts is that the best time of publish is any date slash time that you can consistently publish. This does not mean that you have to crank out a video every single day, but the 
best time and day to upload is the day that you're actually be that you're able to be consistent with that for example like once every week or like two videos every single week on monday or thursday for example just a consistent date that you can actually use if you want to read more about this and what they recommend what all the experts are actually recommending i just highly recommend you to download tubebuddy the link is in the description guys this is basically how to use it how to optimize your videos how to rank higher how to not forget anything by using this checklist on the right while you're uploading i want to thank tubebuddy for the continuous support and that is basically how to do it the link is in the description so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support i'll catch you guys in a brand new video tomorrow hopefully it's going to be like the video where i'm going to show you guys how we repainted the entire apartment if you want to pick up true buddy the link is in the description and i'll see you guys obviously in my next video